This is Bob Dickinson of Innovice, and we're going to talk about InfoSwim and H2O Map Swim dual drainage. What you're looking at right now is H2O Map Swim, and the way you do dual drainage inside of um, InfoSwim and H2O Map Swim is you have an overland flow link, and we call that the overland flow node, and the link is a tra the link is a trapezoidal channel simulating the gutter. And then for a node, we have an inlet node. And the inlet node can be either continuous grate, curb opening, sag grate, sag curb opening, or sag combination. And it has an overland flow junction. So in this case, the overland flow junction is the node just to the, to the right of, um, or, or to, the, uh, to the bottom of, of our inlet node. And the way this works is flow comes into the inlet node until the inlet um, capacity is exceeded, then the flow goes to the overland flow node and then flows down the, um, the street or the gutter. So the two things are you need to have um, an overland, f overland junction, an inlet type, and also an um, in inlet node. Okay. Cancel this. We go ahead and run this run our simulation and the numbers you're looking at on the screen are all, is the total flow at the nodes and the links so this says that almost 48 million gallons went into this node and the overflow to to this link or, or to this node was six million gallons so too much flow caught it, cut, came in here and it goes to this now we can see what happens with the um, inlet so we cl click over here on this and here's our inlet flow here's our, our node depth or no lateral flow. The lateral flow is the this kind of like a steady state flow coming in. So the so the inlet flow, since the inlet flow is negative, it means that the flow is going into the inlet and going out of the inlet onto the um, into this into the street or the node. Okay, remember with this you can also go to properties and we can make this layer an area layer. So you can have another way of seeing the flows there. Okay, so that's the uh, criteria. The, another important criteria is here the invert is 124.6. The invert of the overland node has to be higher than the invert of the inlet node. So this is a brief example of, um, of the HEC 22 inlet nodes inside of InfoSwim and H2O Map Swim. I'm going to close now and we'll move on to the next video.